Hello and welcome, Bert the Stormtrooper here, and I'm going to be doing something a little different today. Um, Battleship is my absolute favorite uh, board game, if you want to call it a board game, uh, tabletop game, uh, whatever you want to call it. Battleship is my favorite one, and I've got several different versions of it. Now, here is one that I've never owned before. This is the 1989 version, Talking Electronic Battleship. This is the first Talking Battleship that ever came out. And I got it. I got a pretty good deal on it because it was listed as for repair or for parts. And looking through the pictures, I noticed right away what you're probably noticing, which is that the battery compartment is missing. So I took a chance on it and I purchased it and uh, hopefully that'll be it. And uh, that'll be the only thing that we need to repair on it. And if that is the case, there is an upgrade that I want to do to it. So I guess... First things first, I do have a AA uh, compartment. This is the exact same kind that the original ones used. And I have some left over from, you know, other electronics projects and RC cars and stuff like that. So uh, I just got done opening it up and I wiped it down. I cleaned it up a little bit because it was pretty filthy. And uh, this right here is pretty much what I've been banking on working the whole time. So. Let's see if, uh, if this works out. Again, I, I've never owned this version before, so if this works out, I'm actually going to be very excited about this. So let's just test out and see if this works. And uh, we got, we're going to be lucky here, and uh, it'll be a simple repair. I may have to strip this a little longer so that I can get a good grip here. Let's see, maybe that'll work. All right, that works. Let's try this one. Right away, I heard the speaker pop as soon as uh, the battery made connection. So, uh, fingers crossed. There it is. It's working. Prepare awesome. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so I've got some codes here. I know we're going to do game one. And let's do. Let's put that there. Players two. I'm going to go with this code right here. So I'm going to go with the A3 because there's a ship right there on A1 and we can test it real quick. So A3 enter. Task Force 1, armed. Task Force 2, enter. Letter, number. So A3, enter. The same one for both sides. Got to wipe this down a little more again. All right, so let's see if the light works next. So enter letter number fire, so A1, and then fire. We'll see if the light works. Okay, cool. So it's working. And it even told us which ship got hit. So this is great. Um, okay, so at this point, I could just patch this up right here, put some heat shrink on it and be done with it and it works and it's fixed. But I'm also going to do an upgrade on this. So let me zoom in a little bit here and show you what I'm talking about. Submarine hit. Okay. So Jack that's the... One. Fire. All right, so that's the original light that's in there. Um, like I said, at this point, I could just patch this up and be done with it, but I'm going to open this up because I want to go ahead and upgrade that light as well. So while I'm in there, I may as well go ahead and solder the battery holder into it properly. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that LED, and this is a repair that I've done. I have the 82 version of Electronic Battleship the non talcum version, and I've already done this uh, with that one. So I'm gonna take out that LED and I'm gonna put in one of these guys. And these are 10 millimeter super bright LEDs. Uh, these are the kinds that I use on my Proton Pack project. So I'm gonna put one of those in there. And then additionally, I'm gonna line the inside of this compartment with some reflective tape so that when the LED does go off, it reflects off of the uh, sides and the top and it just really lights it up and, and makes it look really, really nice. I, like I said, I've done this with my 89 version, or sorry, my 82 version, and it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one as well. So one last time, let's do this one more time so you can remember what it looks like before we upgrade it. Destroyer, hit. Task 
Force 2, fire. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the batteries. Take those out, set them aside somewhere over here, I guess. And we gotta open this guy up. So let's see, yep. So we've got some tabs here and on the sides there and there, and then there's some long tabs here. So I just gotta push down on these tabs while pulling on it from the other side. The whole thing should pop up. If this is anything like the 82 version, which it really does look, the body is the same. They changed the color a little bit. It's a little more blue where the, oh, the other one was gray. But the body itself is pretty much the same. The only thing that changes that where it used to have sliders, now it just has these push buttons on it. is that should do it so it should be able to just pop this up and slide it over now and yep there it is that's really all there is to it so we can take this guy and set it aside and concentrate on this guy right here all right so this is new we have a couple of screws here the previous version did not have screws and I did not bring Anything to put screws on, we'll just uh, pop them in here. Okay, I'm guessing this one's gonna have to come out. Okay, that should do it. Should be able to pull straight up on this guy now, yep. Okay, carefully that up bring that out okay so I'm probably gonna take a little bit of alcohol and wipe these down just so that we can get good um, good uh, connections there and then right in here I'm gonna use this uh, reflective tape and I'm gonna put some on the sides and a little strip on the top there like I did with my other version let's start with this guy first and the first thing we need to do is take this guy out and replace it with this guy, which I guess I'm gonna have to take the batteries out, so I'm gonna solder it on there. And also that LED. Man, this is tight. That is actually bending my nail, that's so tight. I'm using rechargeable batteries. So, I don't know if it has anything to do with how tight this is, or maybe it's just because this battery holder so old and it's actually never been used so i don't know set that there All right, simple enough. Now, about this LED. Let's have a look here and see which way the LED is facing. All right, so the flat side goes towards the power here. That'll be 
simple enough. Ready. Also, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the LED. See how this LED is sticking up? I'm actually gonna have the LED sitting down a little lower. It's a, it's a bigger LED anyway, so the top of it is gonna be pretty even with this. And it'll help um, really light up that entire chamber. Uh, oh boy, that is right there, ain't it? Started from the top. It's very interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting indeed. Okay. All right, easy enough. Now, let me actually show you a comparison here. So you can see the before and after here of what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab one of these, I'm gonna grab one of those. All right, so that is the original LED right there. And that's the one I'm gonna replace it with. So you can see quite quite the difference here. So that's gonna look really, really nice. Go ahead and pop that off. go this way all right so just to be sure let's test that out I want to make sure I got that LED in there right the first time because oddly enough my new LED has been cut usually LEDs are cut flat on one side of the leads this LED is flat on both sides which is very weird so this will actually let us see if the uh, battery fix is good too. All right, so which side? This side. This is this side. So. This will be a good, good test. So, one. Alright, that did not light up. Hmm. Let me see if any of these other LEDs maybe have the one flat side. No, they're flat on both sides. That is the darndest thing. Okay. Let's try actually touching the leads and see what happens.
Ah, I missed again. Ah, there it is. Okay, so that's lighting up. Good. So I did have it right, but it's always good to check. So now let's go ahead and pop these off. this on okay I guess we need to put these back on as well so this goes here this go here okay so now we're gonna solder this one down like I said I'm gonna push it down a little further so it's just right about there Maybe I can use this to prop it up. Yeah, it looks... There we go. Okay, so everything is soldered on now, and before I put everything back together again, I'm going to do one more final test. So I'm going to go, I've already programmed it, I'm going to go ahead and fire it off and see what happens. Excellent. That's going to look so much better. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and clean up all these pads and I'm gonna clean up the buttons as well. I'm gonna cut up this uh, tape and line the inside of this with the reflective tape, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get everything ready to start putting back together. So I'll go ahead and fast forward to that, and I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up all of these pads. I've cleaned these guys up, and you can see some of the filth there on my Q-tip. And then I've also gone ahead and used that reflective tape right here inside of the chamber. So you can see it right there on the side and the strip around the top there so that when that LED goes off, not only is it already going to be super bright uh, and much brighter than the original, but it's also going to reflect off those surfaces and just light up that entire chamber. So at this point, really all that's left is just a matter of assembling, putting everything back together. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we'll uh, play a game. Can't wait to play this tonight again. I've never had this version before. So this is my first experience with the uh, with the 89 talking. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm not sure that these get clipped. And they got little notches on the board there for the wires, which is really nice. sure that everything is lined up right. There we go. This screwdriver used to be magnetized. I see that it no longer is. 
and I'm gonna have to remagnetize this. It's always good to have magnetized screwdrivers when you're doing working on a little small projects like this one, especially electronics stuff. Okay, one more test before finally a final assembly. Prepare for battle. Okay, so that's good. We'll go ahead and uh, finish putting it together. So all the tabs are back in place there, so that looks good. Okay, so now, moment of truth. So now we get to actually put this together properly. So one last time, we're gonna put the batteries back in, and this time, they're staying in, no more testing. We are all done now. It's just a matter of assembling the game. It's gonna turn on automatically when I put the battery in. Prepare for battle. That will sit right there. Battery cover. All right, so now let's do the same thing. Um, let's do A1 or game one. A1. Select players. Players two. two. Task force one, enter letter number. And I'm gonna select the same, you know, the same code that we had before, A3. Task force one, armed. Task force two, enter letter number. Task Force okay. 2, armed. Put that on, and we are ready to play. Okay, so um, you just saw the final assembly of the game itself. There it is, it's all assembled. You just watch me program it. And uh, now, we're gonna look at the difference from the light before and after. So real quick, one more time, here is the light before. And now let's see what it looks like after. Yeah, that's a big difference. Destroyer. I'm very, very happy Task with that. So Enter. yeah, Enter. Um, super, Fire. super cool. Um, awesome, easy fix. The I, I do have all the pegs and the ships and everything. I'm actually, those are actually getting washed right now. Uh, but yeah, so there it is, the 1989 Talking Electronic Battleship uh, Battery Compartment Repair and Light Upgrade. Very happy to add this guy to my collection. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit different from what I normally do. I don't think I've ever actually done it. Well, I have done a repair before on my Neo Geo. Uh, I did a, a YouTube live video on that. I was repairing it and just kind of hanging out in the garage. That's where we are, by the way. My arcade machines are right over here. We're in my garage. Uh, it's where I like to do my electronics projects. So, very happy with this uh, Talking Battleship, the 1989 version, the first Talking Battleship that ever came out. Uh, super happy to have this version. Happy that I found it cheap and that uh, it was an easy fix. And so I got it fixed up and I got it um, upgraded and all of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. 
And uh, as always, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. That looks nice. That light's, that light's not helping it, but that looks good.